So, we all know that President Trump considers himself an expert on real estate. So when Fox News told him that white farmers in South Africa were in danger of having their land stolen by the government, he tweeted about it, and we were forced to investigate. La la la. <laughs> the ANC will finalize a proposed amendment to the Constitution that outlines more clearly the conditions under which expropriation of land without compensation can be effected. Did I just hear blah, 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 blah land grab time? Amendment is to promote redress, advance oh, economic... Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I've been waiting, baby. Woo and, uh, yeah, I sleep in a suit. Because you never know when you have to be dressed for success or a land grab. Look, the thing about this whole land conversation is that it can get really awkward. You cannot change the Constitution and take away a basic fundamental right, the right to own private property, and that's exactly the problem. The Dutch gangsters arrived here and took our land by force. Whose properties are you going to take? No, are you order, going to take order, the property of the order, French Huguenots and German refugees order. who came here running away from religious wars in Europe? <laughs> It's like having the sex talk with your parents while they're still doing it. So what I'm going to do is go and talk to the guys who can get me this primo land because I've been waiting. First up, the leading party's headquarters. Could the ANC's head of communications point me to the aisle with the good stuff? Where are we starting? Where can I grab me some land? To land grab is illegal. Huh? It is a crime. What? You will be arrested. If you think of grabbing land after leaving this office, you will be arrested. What the f Why does it feel like you're anti-land grabs? Yes, we are anti-land grabs. We don't want people to do things illegal. Whatever we do, we must do it in terms of our laws of the country and the constitution. But as a man of the government, you must know some really good land. Where should one start? Land grab, I can assure you, it will never happen. As long as we've got Hypothetically. the Constitution. Uh, even if it were to happen. Maybe. Unless you have a dream. I mean, mean that is a bad dream. If you want to go to jail. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. I just want to know, since it's the elections next year, and this is like the hot topic, um, if between me and you, we could have like a one vote, one acre policy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We are doing this not because the election is coming. To deliver land to the historical disadvantaged people is to deliver on the foundation upon which the ANC was founded. I can't believe this crap is coming from a black person. I've obviously come to the wrong place. So I went to the opposition party who are famous for saying the opposite of whatever the ruling party has to say. If we can get as many South Africans owning land as possible, that's a good thing. I think we should give people title to land. <laughs> oh, you <grab> some. <laughs> My man, that's what I'm talking about. A brother looking out for the brothers. Oh, so we're going to just grab and take. That's, that's how we're doing this. No. If we do it within the law and all of us do it, we're better off. Ah, this bullshit again. Why are these guys playing dumb when the whole world knows it's land grab time? Well, since the blacks weren't helpful, I found myself the lesser spotted land giving Caucasian male who together with government gave ownership of land to the black people who worked on his farm. We didn't think they'd give up so easily, but the first domino has fallen. Any backlash from other white farmers? No, everybody is positive uh, about this whole land reform project of mine. Who are these mysterious white people who are panicking then? You know, some areas there, there are farm attacks, and but you, you live in the city, you also get uh, uh, attacks. He's right, and the numbers agree with farm murders being at a steady decline since 1998. In fact, statistically, I have more chance of being murdered. Okay, this whole giving back the land thing along with government is all nice, but I still had my suspicions. Giving people land willy-nilly, is this a spiteful way for you to prevent people from getting the satisfaction of grabbing some land? The government bought it from me for my workers, and I'm in a joint venture with them. The key word for all this land reform is ownership. Give them ownership 
and you'll see the whole country will benefit out of it. In the Hua in Guama, come man, it's over so to Huntley. <laughs> it's taken a super chilled, Sutu speaking, land giving farmer to begin to change my perspective on this whole land grabbing thing, but then I made the mistake of turning on the TV. I have asked Secretary of State Pompeo to closely study the South Africa land and farm seizures and expropriations and the large scale killings of farmers. The president of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa, has begun, and you may have seen this in the press, seizing land from his own citizens without compensation because they are the wrong skin color. White Americans are freaking out. I'm talking Fox News levels of freaking out. The president asked the secretary to look closely at the current state of action in South Africa. America's moral leadership still does matter. America's moral leadership? Oh, we know what that means. No thanks. So, Muto, Trump, what's the word is, eh? Yeah, Trump, it, 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 South Africa. You've got enough problems at this country. Well said, Mwaname. But boy, was I wrong about this or what. There's no government sanctioned land grab after all. Ugh, should have known. The government never delivers on its promises. That was Luis Omadinga, everybody. We'll be right back.